talking about movies, they may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan, I've seen that. So, my movie that I want to talk about today is Zootopia. Zootopia. Have you seen it? I have seen this movie. Do you like it? Um, yeah, it wasn't bad. I liked it the first time I saw it. I was going to say, I probably haven't seen it as many times as you have. My kids didn't really latch on to it. My kids. So, I think I've seen it twice. So, Kai, we let Kai use the iPad. Our Sam's mom right. had an old iPad that she gave to us, and Kai uses it quite a bit. And she will put on this movie and will just – she likes songs. She really likes listening to music. So she'll mm-hmm. listen to the Zootopia song, and as soon as it's over, we'll just uh, scroll back and play it again. And I've heard yep. the song so many times that it, it's just – it's so painful to listen to for me now. Wait, which song is it? Um, the uh, Shakira? Try everything. Bow, 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 bow. Try everything. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, At least it's kind of catchy. It is so annoying uh, after you hear it a yeah. hundred times. Um, yeah, I've only heard it like 60 times. I also so don't. I still like it. Shakira's voice for me is not, oh. not my favorite. Oh, like, yeah, she sounds like she's singing through a saxophone. <laughs> Oh man, I'm trying to remember the words, but I can't. I just. I... I, yeah, I, I couldn't. I just know. Try everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. The but the Try movie. Everything. <laughs> the movie is okay overall. It's about a bunny. So it's bunnies. It, it's got a lot of weird themes that it's trying to hit on, and it doesn't land on any of them really. But because <laughs> it's like vague themes of racism, vague themes of sexism, like yeah. it, it doesn't really quite land any of them. Like it, the it because it, there's one scene where um, cause I'm getting all over the place. Hang on. Let me. The movie is about a bunny who wants to be a police officer, but yes. generally police officers are predators. Um, so all the there's, there's too much to establish. All the animals are are like people <laughs> in this movie, and they have jobs and they talk and they do things. Uh, predators- you describe this movie as like someone trying to describe like their dream, <laughs> like. And, oh, and Walter Cronkite was there, but he was only there for like a minute and then he left on a raft. And so then we were all on the giraffes, uh, but then we were back in my house, but we we're still on the giraffes, but somehow they fit in my house. It was like my house, but it was like three stories high. And then Walter Cronkite was back. <laughs> Wait, no, maybe that was a different dream. I think that was the night before with the Cheerios. I, you know, we just had another conversation about 15 minutes ago where you told me that you we had this long conversation that never happened. <laughs> so before you go around and start making fun of me, you should remember that your dream I'm just is based on reality. saying it like it is. Call it like I say it. But uh, no, so in this world, humans don't exist or are all dead. Not sure exactly what happened to humans. But, peop- uh, but the animals That's can it. talk. They have jobs. They have lives. They do things. Bunnies are generally farmers who farm carrots because they're small and can't do a lot. This bunny wants and because bunnies like carrots. And bunnies do like carrots. Uh, this bunny, Officer Judy Hops, wants to be a police officer. Decides she's going to be a police officer. No one believes in her, uh, but she still does it. And that's about as far. That's about as much time as the movie takes to play on that point of. People are like, oh, you can't do it, and then she does it. Um, but because she's a bunny and not a predator, so not big and strong and scary, they make her a meter maid. Yes. She goes around and runs into a fox 
who is a scammer, which... Yeah, he's like a con artist. He's a con artist. And she's like, she catches him and... Or, well, she, she falls for it and is like, feels betrayed. And so, uses him to help solve a mystery. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, this is still the same movie. Yeah, well, I'm just, there's like, it establishes so much in the beginning. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's the most important thing to talk about. Because the it, mayor. it uses a lot of, like I was saying, it, it hits on a lot of themes of racism and sexism. But it's not very clear about which one is which. Because the bunny's a girl. And so people are down on her for being a bunny. And it's not... Yeah, I, 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 I think what they did, I think what their intention was... Just go watch the movie, people. I think their intention was to leave it vague enough that when you watch it, if you have issues... Or if you have experience with sexism. Or if you have issues with racism. Or if you have issues with prejudice or whatever it is, that you will just... Or predators. Or predators. You will just fill your your issues into that character so you connect yeah. more. And that's that's what's like frustrating about trying to explain what the theme is because they don't really hold true to any of them. Because there's Cause one... it's a few different one scene into where one. Uh, the the, um, the counter... Officer, I don't know what to call him. What do, what do you call that? He's like the dispatch. But he's at yeah, the, the counter. The, he, the desk clerk. The desk clerk officer. But he's a... Anyways, he calls her cute. And she's like, oh, you know, other bunnies can call each other cute. But that's it. Like, which felt... Oh, I don't even remember that. To me, it felt like the N-word. You know, like... Right. Well, yeah. And it, it just, it was like, wait, is this about racism? Because before it seemed more about sexism, but now, like, I don't know. Make it's up very your strange. mind, people. Yeah. Um, what are you, what's your opinion about the movie? Um, well, I've only seen it like one and a half times. Um, I liked Jason Bateman. As the fox. As the fox. Um, that's kind of, I don't really remember all that much other than, I thought it was fine. Well, there's, so the bad guy turns out to be this lamb who is using these chemicals to inject into predators to make them go crazy. So they attack people and do all this stuff. So people are afraid of predators. So the non-predators, what, what are non-predators? Uh, predities. Predities. So the predities have more power in society and stuff like that. Um, she is voiced by the uh, Jenny Slate. Jenny Slate. And as soon as she came on, and as soon as her voice came on, I was like, "Oh, she's the bad guy." I, I was like, "I, I don't know what that says about Jenny Slate," but I was like, "Clearly, she's gonna be the bad guy." She just has that voice. She she's just got a villainous voice. Yeah, she uh she has a interesting voice. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> what do you how do you feel about kids movies tackling subjects like that? Trying to hit on racism and sexism and more Um if you hey, if you can do it, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, nope. <laughs> what are you worried about saying? Go for it. <laughs> You're okay with it? I, I I like. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Like with as long as it's done right and makes sense. So should it be should it be clear to the kids watching it that it's got a more mature theme or only to the adults? Um, well, I guess it depends on what age group you're aiming it towards. If you're, uh, I don't know, I don't know. That's a tough one. 
I feel like you're very afraid of offending someone, but I don't think I'm this I'm not is- afraid of offending someone. I just it, this movie is a good movie. Go see it everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's what I don't get. What, what I think it's fine it, it, if it makes it obvious enough to a child that this is an issue, and then they can talk to their parents, and their parents can kind of explain the the real world, you know, counterparts to it. Then, then, yeah, be my guest. Are you are you concerned that? Not because they think racism is a problem, but because you don't think racism is a problem and you don't want to take that stand publicly. Wait, are you (laughs) implying I think racism does not exist? I'm implying that you like racism. Oh, well then yes. I think you do think it exists, but you just, you don't want it to go away. Uh, because then we wouldn't have movies like Zootopia. <laughs> um, yeah, Zootopia, it's it's fine, right? It's a kids' movie. Um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend seeing it if you're not a kid or if you don't have kids. Uh, the music's no. kind of annoying, and they play the same song four or five times. Um, yeah, it's like watching White Christmas all over again. <laughs> oh man, I would rather watch Zootopia than White Christmas. Sister. <laughs> However, it went, I don't even remember. It was awful. Um, Get between me and my the, man. The scene with the sloths <laughs> was pretty funny. I I do like the sloth scene. Um, I like the scene. Well, like I was saying, I like the scenes with Jason Bateman, especially like the early ones. You know, when he's doing his what is like a, some kind of popsicle scam. Yeah. Where he thought that was good. Buys the elephant pop, but because it's yeah. so big, they can melt it down and sell it as uh, fox feet pops. Yeah. Then they <laughs> sell the popsicle sticks as redwood to uh, construction workers in Mouse Town or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I. It's hard. It, I struggle with uh, critiquing kids' movies because they're not for me. Yeah, so they're not for us. When I don't enjoy it, it's like, well, yeah, dummy. That's well, your. Yeah, you weren't supposed to. <laughs> but, but then there are kids' movies that I do enjoy. Yeah. There are, there are um, movies that I enjoyed the first time. But okay, what is your favorite kids' movie that came out while you were an adult? And was not already part of a franchise that started when you were a kid. Yeah. So like Toy Story. Probably the, what I'm getting at. <laughs> the Lego movie. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that one was done really well. I think the music in it is like fun and upbeat and stuff. Um, I really enjoy in the Lego movie how they'll be like it, – it, it's basically kids playing, right? They're like – Meet me upstairs in five seconds, and then they go upstairs in five seconds. Like that—that's something that a kid yeah. would do. Like, I, it's there's a lot of I think uh, deeper concepts to like goofy things. Like, there's a reason behind everything. You know, like mispronouncing yeah. the names of things, and um, I don't know. It's just a lot of uh, a the lot craggle. of the yeah, the craggle, the the <laughs> the I can't remember what it is. Uh, the Ah, it doesn't matter. The <laughs> it's like on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure out what he said. The nail polish. What does he call it? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Nail polish remover of... But he, he calls it something weird. It doesn't matter. Um, I think that was really well done. I think the jokes were uh, funny for adults, but also... like They were like layered jokes to where the kids would find it funny, but also it's like deeper than just... Right. You know what I mean? Like... And so I thought that was really well done. That's probably yeah. my favorite yeah. kids movie of recent. But I um, also can't yeah, keep I watching it. My kids watch it, have watched it too many times to where I would not want to watch it myself. Yeah, I've only seen it uh, like twice. Hmm. Um, hmm. 
I asked that question with no answer in mind. Because <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't know. I can't even think of any kids' movies. Uh, yeah, that's probably that's probably up there. Yeah. Lego movie. Well, if Zootopia comes on TV, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to change the channel. Yeah, me too. I'm going to turn the TV off. I've seen it enough, so I'm fine. Yeah. So if you were going to fix Zootopia, what would you do? Uh, much, much more blatant racism. <laughs> Or speciesism? Speciesist-ism? Speciesists. Speciesists. Yes. Um, hmm. I don't know that I would fix anything. Because it's... I don't... I don't don't even know. What a horrible question for me. (laughs) Equally horrible answer. Uh, yeah, I would. I think you. I think you're right. I think more racism, or more like make it a little more like obvious. And, unless that's not what they're going for, then fine. But well, make it if clear. That is the mess? Yeah, make it a little more clear and less uh, open to interpretation. Yeah, decide what your point is. And I maybe they did. Maybe it was racism, or maybe it was sexism. But I. Watching it, I did not. I could not decide. I could not figure out what it was exactly, and because there's like the racism, the sexism. There's the predator versus the prey. Like so, there's the power structure issue. Like that's the word you're looking for. Prey? Oh no, I knew it was prey, but I didn't think that's what they called themselves in the the movie. That's what I was trying to figure oh, out. Oh, oh, that's right. No, it is predities. <laughs> yeah, predities. The predator, predities. Power structure issue. There's the you know. There's just a lot of different things, and I think if they would have settled on one one issue and kind of made that the, the corrupted focus, government, they could have made a, a lot stronger of a movie for the adults. And because there's there's really no reason to muddy everything up by using so many different things, because they also get into is it it uh, the 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 desk officer is yes. um, out of shape and brings that up at one point. Like there, everyone has these prejudices, and the idea of it is to be like, "Hey, don't judge based on these things." But I don't know. They don't. They don't resolve any of it. Which, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it is, don't judge yeah. a book by its cover. But they also, I don't feel like they really show a lot more depth than what the covers are you know like i don't know yeah like why shouldn't we yeah but i definitely think there should have been more death more predators just eating people more bunnies getting ripped apart (laughs) uh agree and less shakira it felt very the song was like i felt it felt like the world in it felt like the World Cup song. What is the World Cup song? You don't remember that? Let me see. Let me pull it up. No. The Are you talking about the World Cup 2010 song. World Cup song. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, what was it? All that shows me is that Shakira is a sellout. <laughs> well, doesn't it? Doesn't it just sound like that? Like the Zootopia song? It does sound like that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. They just change the words around a little bit. Yeah, and that's that. Now, that's what uh, I thought every time I watched Zootopia. It's like, oh, this just is a ripoff of the. Apparently, it's the called World Cup. <laughs> waka 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 Waka. Hey, what an awful name! It Isn't must that be Fozzie Bear's song. <laughs> Waka waka. It, it must be a, an African phrase. Um, I would assume so. <laughs> well, I don't. I, well, because I was gonna say. Uh, Actually, I guess it's probably racist to assume that. Well, I, I don't know what language that would be because because um, it was in South Africa, but South Africans there's a lot of uh, different languages in South Africa. Uh, yeah, so no, that song sounds just like Waka Waka. 
It's W A. Yeah, like, how do you say that? W A K A. Waka. Yeah, Waka Waka. Waka. Yes. I don't, for some reason in my head, I want to repeat it four times because it's Waka 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 Waka. waka, waka. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Um, but yeah, so less of that in the movie, more more variety of music, I guess. I think that would help because it there's a lot of different uh, areas of town, a lot of different cultures and stuff. Like, I don't know. I, I the this movie feels kind of like the movie Training Day, but a kids version of that with a lot less kids drugs. Kids version of Training Day. <laughs> That's what it's missing is Denzel Washington. See, that's that's the other thing about trying to fix this movie. Am I trying to fix this movie so I enjoy it or so it's a better movie as a kid's movie? I want it to be a, a shot-for-shot remake of Training Day but with the Zootopia characters. <laughs> that would be that would be really good. That's, uh, that's what I'm into. All right. Well, that was our review of Zootopia. Yeah. I don't know. Is it a review? I, I feel like review is a little in, in disingenuous. Like That was our opinion on Zootopia. That was our memory of Zootopia. Um, if you like our show, yes. if you like our podcast, you can help us out over on Patreon. You can help decide who is going to have to suffer the punishment this month and uh, help decide what the punishments are, Help us or make us watch bad movies, help – no, why do I keep saying help? You can <laughs> – Get access to all those episodes. Help us with the podcast, please. We're struggling. Two weeks in advance. Um, there's a lot of other stuff on there, too. But we'd like to say thank you to our sponsors, Boss Play. And you can go yeah. check them out at boss-play.com. You can also find us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod and on Facebook at I Seen That. Nailed it. Boom. <laughs>